Hey, love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing, extended, beautiful family, thank you for taking the time out for yourself, you know, seeing the signs that are coming towards your way, uh, seeing the things that, you know, uh, that is meant to be in your life and as well as the things that we need to part from. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you are uh, comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I'll love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if you was to return um, a reply towards the uh, uh, to return a positive reply to the content of my video. That's what I meant to say. And or you can tell me about your impact and gift, how it impacts your life and head you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video gave you gives you good vibes or good information that you would love to share with a loved one, family, or a friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some really hard times and need confirmation or validation towards their life path or even soul purpose, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share the social media favorites wherever you see fit. Thank you once again for the love and support. It's truly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today I'm using um, my meditation. It's called Access Alpha State of Awareness through meditation. ASMR forest sounds magical wind chimes fire and I will post that link in the description box below um, and my video I'm doing today is twin flame 101 hey okas have the power you have the power to change your identity remember you are not a product of your circumstances you are not you know yes you have went through so much hell but it's just like a lot of times there are certain things that has been placed upon our life so we can get that courage to get whatever we needed to get that we, you know, that we held our weaknesses to, you know, um, being able to uh, basically still be living after whatever major things that has occurred into your life. You know, maybe you lost a parent, maybe, you you know, you were cheated on or you, you know, you are abused in certain kind of ways. Um, you're getting a divorce, whatever your, um, spiritual awakening has something to do with you know that situation is going to allow you to awaken 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 certain things in your body who is you know body and spiritual ground that's been dormant for so long that you know they're looking into life like oh, okay things that are going on right now i think it's time for us to go ahead and just <laughs> put that spiritual awakening on them but it's just like you know sometimes we can fall short or becoming victims of the things that has been placed on our lives and it's just like we really have to see them for what they truly are and you know it's hard to be able to see it when you're going through it at the time because it can really put you in a dark place it can really have you stressed out overwhelmed you know feeling helpless um put you in a major depression you know uh have you know a lot of us tend to have uh after we've gone through things we've been labeled for me mental illnesses when they're actually a part of our gift it's like a fail safe for us to be going through those things to be able to see the things that has occurred for the reason why it occurred you know i had to go through a lot of major things in my life that i didn't feel like you know i was going to make it through you know it just it has to be a daily process that you have to apply towards yourself you know you really truly want to be able to have that power you can to be able to change things for the better you have to be able to endure those things and you know sit back like I always tell people sit back without you putting our emotions into that situation and see what is this situation teaching you what is it that you need to let go of or what is it that you need to bring forth and have more into your life that you need to speak out for you know all those different things that are happening so it's just like I know I must have, I know I must be on some serious stuff because uh, serious subjects because my nose starting to itch like crazy but this is being for real you know we go through these things in our life that has hurt us in so many different ways you know uh, certain people have things occur where they don't want to date anymore or they won't allow people in their lives I mean I was the same way you know I got gone through so many different things because I had so many people in my life that I thought were my friends or I thought they were like close family you know my mom you know, I had a lot of my mom's friends around me since I was little. And I always, you know, looked at them as, you know, my, my, you know, godparent or whatever. And then when things came about, you know, things 
flip the script on me. So it was like I was losing people left and right when I went through my spiritual awakening. For people to find out who I truly was, you know, who I was related to, it had them looking at me different. You know, um, things became different. You know, it came harsh. It became cold. You know, I had to go through so many things, you know, all, all at one time that I just, you know, that I have to look at it and say I was truly blessed. Because, I mean, so stuff like that, it has gone in my life. And, I mean, I just didn't have to deal with the death of a parent that, but a death of a parent you would have known that whole time, but never knew that was your parent. You knew you had a weird connection since you were little, but then you find out your family had something to do with that. They knew that whole time, you know, having all these different memories come about that made sense to me. You know, dealing with the loss of my dad, not being able to reconnect, um, trying to get closure, trying to, you know, see the bigger picture from all those things. I had to be able to grow up fast, you know, heal. I mean, it really took me through a whole different situation, especially if you, you went through years of therapy for things to be wiped out of your life. You know, I used to have night terrors about the things I was going through, but it didn't make sense because it was like my dad was not able to talk to me, you know, so he had to come through dreams to be able to tell me things was going on. My family was like, well, damn, we trying to keep him from talking to her. Now he's invading in her dreams. We got to cut that off. So when they had everything wiped out my, my life like that, that, anything pertained to him, it didn't have an effect on me. Until, you know, I went through my major, tr you know, transformation and spiritual awakening. I ended up watching a crazy movie called Get Out. And um, I was with a co-worker and I, I have a thing. When it comes to people <laughs> and coffee cups, I don't like coffee cups. I don't like hearing. Uh, I know today I was making me some uh, apple cider vinegar and water, and I started stirring a spoon. I had to hurry up and throw that spoon in the daggone sink like, oh, God, no. <laughs> you know? And it was just like, I was like, no, you better go through something. You don't do that. You know, and it's been funny because it's like some of my uh, people that I used to talk to on the phone, they were like, hey, Roslyn, I'm about to get some coffee. I'm like, okay, get your coffee. They were like, no, I got to stir my coffee. I'm like, oh, put me on mute then. Matter of fact, I'll just call you back, <laughs> you know? So going through all those different things and have everything rush at me all at one time, it really put me on the edge of a mental breakdown. I did go through a mental breakdown. But then seeing so many things that had guided me towards making videos and you know, basically having a family that, you know, talked down to me saying I would never amount to much. I would never, you know, amount to anything just because of the choices I made in my life. You know, should I be ashamed of the things that I did in my life, you know, and did not realize that was going to be my blessing of the things that I had in my past, the things that has occurred into my life that I'm not proud of, to be open and honest about the things that I went through. It, you know, it was like, a sad situation for you to have a celebrity as a father but you struggled your whole life you know it was like a Cinderella <laughs> situation adding on a couple of evil folks but all those different things has taught me strength wisdom you know being able to help guide people towards that way of knowing yeah it's no easy road to have to deal with things like that seeing everything in its pure form raw not pretty at all you have to say, okay, these are the things that happened to you. What you going to do now? I had to, you know, basically every day tell myself, you're going to heal. You might not understand these things. It, it may not seem like the world is being fair to you. You know, you're dropping out of people in your life that you held dear, that you thought, you know, you can trust and you couldn't. You know, it had me looking at people and not wanting to open up to people because every time I opened up to somebody, they were trying to block my blessings. Or try to keep me down there in the swamps with them. But I'm like, uh-uh. I can do bad by myself. I ain't no. <laughs> you can do bad by yourself. Don't have me come with you. You know, I'm not going to be in nobody's storm. I'd rather pull you to my peace than you add me to your storm. I'm not going to do that. You know, going through all those different things. Being able to see that strength in myself. Confidence in myself. That I say, you know what? You got a job to do. You're going through so many different things that, you know, that were sent to break you. And you actually succeeded. You have your spirit guides. You had God. You universe you had source all the positive re reinforcements to make sure that you are okay I've knocked on death's door too many times you know God done mushed me back down like nah I ain't ready for you yet <laughs> and then devil was like oh hell no she done caused too much havoc down here and we can't I can't have nobody worse than me so it's like I'd be damned if I do I'd be damned if I don't so you know 
devil got a restraining order against me and God just be had me on block when it I'm like, can I come now? No, no, you ain't done. <laughs> you are not done. You go through all these different things and there is a purpose behind everything that has occurred in your, your life. The most darkest, deepest, th th deepest things that has occurred into your life is going to have a strong impact on a positive outcome for you. That's the reason why you had to go through those things. You're not a product of those mistakes, but it has molded you to be that best version of yourself. For you to be able to see strength behind all measures of the things that has been placed on you. You know, and I, I mean, I really had to look at it like, dang, that's, that, that's some deep stuff. <laughs> that's some really deep stuff to have to really go through. And being able to see it for what it truly is. You know, we're, us as hell, because we already go through hell and back just because we take the long way on doing stuff. We don't like taking shortcuts. We don't like doing stuff easy. We got to go above and beyond, start investigating stuff like we the damn Scooby-Doo in the mystery van. You know, going through all those different things. And, it, you know, it can really be a hard ro road to bear. It really is. But when you know, when you, mom, like my mama used to always tell me, you know, you always got one of them, you know, you probably have a couple of old, older, older, less people that are still around to tell you the things, the words of wisdom. It's good to, you always got to listen to an older person as they've been gone through so many different things because they don't seen the world just change and evolve from, you know, sec segregation, diversity, hate, even though there's still stuff that's going on like that as well as the child because the child is only seeing the beauty in things those are the main things you need to talk to a little child and an older ancestor and they will tell you you know i know you you probably heard this before when you get tired of going through stuff that's when you're gonna sit up here and look at things that you because you're ready to go <laughs> you know when you when you're ready when you know you're tired of going through that same rotating door you know and it teaches you something new all the time until you can face it and let it go and see what this is trying to tell you you're going to keep going through that same situation it's going to take you right back even though when you you know praying to god let me up out of here he's you can let your own self out <laughs> you that's what you need to do and then you have to try to figure out what is it going to get you out of that rotating door so you can be able to go through the door of blessings the doors of happiness the, the doors that you need to be going walking through Proudly just walking like, hey, I'm here. You know, where where we partying at? Where we celebrating at? Because those are the things that are coming to your life. You know, you are not a victim of the things that's been placing off your life. You're going to be that billboard that has conquered all those things that has happened in your life. And then people are going to look at you so different. Like, I want to be them when I grow up. They have been through so much hell. And they can still have a smile on their face. They're willing to help somebody have that secret of life to being able to have that that manifest of love, of happiness, of blessings, you know, thing, having opportunities you only dreamt of having. Because like I tell people all the time, and I, I can see it, you know, and feel it, you know, you could be praying for one thing to happen in your life, and just because of all the BS you had to go through through all that time, is like, do you understand the magnitude of the things that's about to come into your life just because you went through so much hell and you didn't give up on yourself? You were able to see them for what they truly were. And it was not no pretty sight for you to have to go through. No, it wasn't. But for you to be able to still live and breathe and still being able to let somebody know what happened to you in your, your part of your life and then you're trying so desperately to heal from, that's strength. That's strength. That's where you're going to get your wisdom from. That's where you're going to get your strength from. Because I guarantee you, if you know you're tired of going through that dark time, there's going to be something that you're really going to have to pay attention to and allow that to lay at rest. It's just like me, I had to really dive deep. Like, yes, you went through this situation, a big milestone for me to face the people that has done everything up under the sun. You knew my family had passed, never said nothing. You know, had my dad come back and forth, being very deceptive of that. And I can still look them in their face and tell them, you know what, I had my closure, I got my sorry, I never got, and I need to move on. Cause I deserve happiness. You know, y'all made y'all bed. Bed, y'all need to lay in there. I'm going to make mine and be happy to lay up in mine. Just chilling. But it was just the fact is they got pissed off at me because I never, they did, they thought they had me figured out. They thought this situation was going to break me. It it almost did. There was a couple of times I wanted to be desperately with my dad. Passed because it's like when he passed away, a part of me left with him. So that was their that spot 
that you know I really wanted to be at. I, I didn't care how I got to see my dad then, but it was just the point. If it was meant for me to be gone, I would not be here doing the things that I'm doing now. But being able to really see it in its rare form is like this is all I had to do. Okay, you know. And then universe is saying you need to tell these people about the journey, about your, you know, your 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 milestones, about your wars, about your trials and tribulations, how you're getting over things, and how you're going to succeed. You know, nobody can't stop my blessings from coming because once God say yeah, the hell with whatever anybody else says. Because that's the main person that's going to tell you. You can't allow nobody to block your blessings. The only person that can block your blessings is you. Either because you were telling too much. I had to learn from that. Don't talk too much. You tell people what they need to know. It's a need to know basis. <laughs> and you're going about your business. And don't let, let the left hand know, well, know what the right hand doing. I'm living for the now. I don't know what's going to go on in my future. But I know I'm going to have a good future. I know I'm going to have a promising one. You know, a lot of people didn't want that for me. I don't. I can't be worried about what people didn't want for me you know they I mean you want to be happy I have every right to be happy you, you do too you know a lot of people are not going to understand your journey because that's your journey they got theirs you got yours and I got mine I might not understand yours I was just supposed to be that part of that puzzle to help guide you to towards where you need to be while I'm going doing the same thing so I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video keep working on yourself let yourself know that your blessings are a lot bigger than the things that have occurred in your life and the devil wants to keep you back from that but you deserve happiness you deserve whatever you want having come towards your life so give me a thumbs up let me know if you resonate with the content of this video it'll truly be a, um, appreciated share like and subscribe hit that notification bell have a blessed safe week Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. And I pray for y'all each and every day. And my post notification shout out goes to uh, Sassy Miss K and Mama Shark. Much love to you. And I'll see you in my next video. Much love. Peace. Be wild.